we have a special guest here today. Uh, he's the vice president of R&D of SolidWorks. And SolidWorks is one of the most important applications in the world. And so um, why don't you guys all help me welcome Jean Pablo Bassi, who is the VP of R&D of SolidWorks, one of our best partners. Now, Jean Paul, you know, there's a lot of people in the audience, and they're not, I, I don't know if they all know what SolidWorks does, but what, what is it that people use SolidWorks for, and what is the business that you guys are in, and what are the customers like? Yeah, so uh, SolidWorks is, uh, uh, is about uh, creating the software, the application that are used by companies to design and create products. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do what is called the computer-aided uh, design, mm -hmm. products for computer-aided design. Now, what and are some of the products that, that we have probably seen that SolidWorks was involved in designing? Well, we are present in uh, about 11 industries, so anything that we, you can name probably has been designed using SolidWorks products from uh, medical devices, uh, automotive, in the aerospace, uh, from uh, consumer products, uh, everything. So everybody probably has a credit card in uh, his pocket, and, uh, and a company called DataCard manufactures the machines to create uh, uh, credit cards. So we are present also in uh, the uh, architectural uh, environment, so probably you know, uh, furniture, uh, everything that goes into your house has been designed with SolidWorks as well. If you have a sub-zero uh, refrigerator, it is designed by, um, with, uh, with uh, SolidWorks. And uh, you know, I come from the East Coast, we have to blow the snow from time to time. I went uh, to uh, Home Depot and, and bought uh, Aries no blower. Well, it was designed uh, with the SolidWorks as well. I wouldn't be surprised if everything at I IKEA is designed with SolidWorks. Uh, well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. As close. a matter of fact, applied <laughs> material is, uh, uh, is our customer. So machines uh, uh, created to create other machines like your, mm -hmm. uh, your, uh, uh, your card, your, uh, your cards are designed. Those machines are designed using our products. So mm -hmm. we, have, we are present in 80 countries. We have uh, uh, reached uh, actually overcome two million users this year, and uh, we have 100 about 180,000 different companies, and again uh, 80 countries and uh, about 800 solution partners. So people that develop software on on top of our software. I see. So let me see if I understand. So the way that you go, you guys go to market. What is the distribution channel? You guys go through Vars solution we partners. We have Vars. Uh -huh. We only have Vars. We distribute only through Vars that are present all over the world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, some of them are here as well mm -hmm, because they mm -hmm. are very much interest, interested in uh, your grid appliance mm -hmm. and because it's very relevant for their customers. As a matter of fact, the large majority of our customers are small and medium businesses. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, for them, mm -hmm. uh, the agility, uh, the capability to access uh, uh, high-end computer resources on demand is extremely important. So you see the... Uh, Motosys uh, uh, company, the one that is uh, designed here, that you show here, is a, um, perhaps the archetype of our uh, average customers. Now, so this is the, f the world's fastest electric, electric yes, motorcycle. Yes, and they want, so this is an example of our, uh, of our customers. So this guy, Michael Sis, I don't know if you ever met him, but very interesting character. So he created this company in 2003. 2006, he decided to go electrical only. Uh -huh. And 2009, 11, and 12, he won uh, the Isle of Man uh, competition. Uh, so with wow. the average speed, 100 uh, uh, miles per hour average, they can reach peak speed of 200 uh, uh, miles per hour. And they contend that they have the most aerodynamic motorcycle ever built. And to do that, they, of course, need uh, to access uh, at any time uh, you know, applications that are able to help them make uh, fundamental design uh, mm -hmm, decisions. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. for our customers, the reason why the grid is uh, so much relevant for our customers is that their requirement is to access their data anytime, anywhere, from any device. And with uh, engineering grade type of precision and rendering capabilities. And uh, now all this is becoming possible for this. Mm -hmm. Our customers already use uh, remote computing with the current technologies, but for them, the next step is, okay, give me the emotion that is communicated by my products. 
this is extremely important for them. And you cannot communicate the emotion and the experience that you have around the product mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. you provide uh, real-time uh, graphics rendering, real-time uh, capabilities as the ones that you've seen there on now any one, type of device. Now, one of the things that, that in, in working with uh, SolidWorks and your partners that we've heard back in the early engagements, and, and we were surprised by some of the, f the feedback that was really interesting. Apparently, um, their workforce, uh, their workforce is uh, sometimes changing in size, mm -hmm. and so it's good to have um, the ability to share a large computer among the workforce. Yeah. Uh, the, the work that they do is changing Absolutely. from time to time. They're not doing the same type of work, and so you would like to have um, the the uh, the grid appliance be dedicated to one group, all of its horsepower dedicated to one group for a while, and maybe to the simulation group for a while, yep. and and so on and so forth, and and of course um, they would they really love the fact that you install one machine, you install one software to the machine. Now everybody has it installed on their devices. Exactly. And then you have to install the so SolidWorks is, is a complicated piece of software. You don't want to install it on one machine after another machine yep. after another. As a matter of fact, the problem of deployment is one of uh, the major problems of our customers. We also have very large customers. One customer of ours has, in fact, like 130 design offices around the world. Mm -hmm. And for them, uh, problem number one it's not about the product, but it's about deploying the product. So mm -hmm, this type mm -hmm. of devices will, uh, will help tremendously. And as you said, the way people work today is dramatically different. So those small companies are very nimble, very creative. They can survive only because they beat everybody else in imagination. And these capabilities unleash their imagination. Mm -hmm. So they can uh, instantly create a network of, uh, of companies in order to collaborate on the design of a new product. Mm -hmm. And they can uh, very quickly and safely show the result of their ideas to customers. They can take uh, a, a visor or mm -hmm. a, a simple device mm -hmm. anywhere in the world. That's really terrific. And the data are safely in, yeah. the, in, the, in, their, in their vault. They're safely in their office most well, of the time, in Gian, their garage. Gianparlo, <laughs> it's, it's really a fabulous working relationship between our two companies. The, yep. the years of partnership has, been, uh, has made it possible for us to do this together. And I'm looking forward to deploying Grid with you. Absolutely. All Thank right. you very Thank much. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next person up, uh, Jean Parlo and, and NVIDIA are partners. And we work together on making possible the grid platform to be useful to the end customer. Uh, next up, we're going to have a, a gentleman who's, who's local who runs a business, his own business. He started this business when he came out of high school. His name is James Fox. Uh, where is James? James, come on up on stage. Now, James, James is one of the earliest users of Grid. And this is when, when Grid was a little bit rickety. And, uh, and we were able to, to get James to, to try it. And, um, and he's, been, he's been using it uh, for real work. Now, how, James, how has Grid, what do you think about Grid? How has it changed the way that you work? Uh, what are your early reactions of using it? Well, earth shattering is what gets used a lot in the office. For us, uh, we're a small, nimble company, much like what was being talked about. And we expand and contract pretty rapidly when mm -hmm. we, whenever we bring on more work. And with the grid, we're able to do that instantaneously. Where before, um, we don't have an IT department. We have a very technical savvy VFX. You're the IT department, for what I understand. Yeah, I help. I, yeah. I may mostly just mess things up. <laughs> but um, the, with the grid, we just launch right into it immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we get people, whether remote, or local, and they get right to work. Now, one of the things that you, you've told me is that's really amazing is, is you create you create a piece, and it's it's a it's a it could be a commercial, it mm -hmm. could be a, a video introduction like the one we saw today, and then you take it to your customer, and right there at the customer, they would like to have it changed, and it's the last moment. That's the last moment. They would like somehow, maybe the color's a little off, maybe they would like to render the, the image a little bit differently, and they would like to have that last minute change. And, and with Grid, because you can now log, remotely connect to it, it's as if you brought Grid with you wherever you go. Absolutely, I mean, we've had it happen in the past where clients want changes and we actually have to haul around our 75 pound desktop workstations to, and hard drive stacks to try to get things changed on site. Uh, we'd actually be backstage right here working on something like that. So with the grid, we literally take care of it with a laptop. And we have all the same performance from a high-powered NVIDIA workstation right there. 
you know, an NVIDIA powered workstation right there. Mm -hmm. So now the other thing that you, you guys have experienced and, and you shared with me is, is um, you're, you're uh, sometimes everybody is, has um, subscribed one of the virtual machines in grid, but sometimes, you know, it's just a couple of you guys left at the office and, and guess what? You would like to have all of the machine to yourself. And so one of the things that grid does is it has that flexibility, that flex capability to give you um, whatever available resource that's available at, on grid. Well, right, I mean, the way we do it now is we have chairs with wheels on them and we roll from computer to computer, right, to mm -hmm. be able to do things. Now we can just sit there and we can access all the power at one workstation and go through and do everything that we need and combine the force of the grid in one spot, which means for me and my visual effects supervisor, we can sit there and stay late and actually get some work done. That's the way we like it. That's right. James, thanks for all your help. Thank you. Thanks for trying it. Thank you.